Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. This is Aries in Wonderland. We went down the rabbit hole and we're going to be using three different decks today. We're going to be using the uh, Wonderland in a tin tarot cards. We're going to be using the Tarot in Wonderland tarot cards. And we're going to be using the Vintage Oracle. So let's get started with the Vintage Oracle, and we're going to get the central theme for your reading. I did want to let you know before we get started, first, this is live, but I'm not watching the chat. <laughs> so if you're writing me, I, I'm not even watching. I'll be answering all of your questions at the end, so if you want to ask a question, type it in chat. As soon as I'm done with the reading, then I will go back in and I will... Uh, answer any questions that you might have and also if you'd like a personal reading they are on sale until the end of summer they're twenty dollars for forty minutes and I'm also offering um, Aries couples Aries singles and Aries career they're pre-recorded videos for four dollars and ninety nine cents so if you watch this it resonates with you and you want to know a little bit more about career but you don't want to buy a personal reading for twenty dollars you can buy the pre-recorded Aries career for four dollars and ninety nine cents so if you'd like that just shoot me an email at enchanted tarot at gmail.com um, so let's get started with your ring what's the central theme of Aries reading central theme of Aries reading Balance. There's a need for balance. Balancing work and uh, home life. Balancing commitments. And we're going to be doing the Romney spread. It's a really good general spread. Uh, first, we're going to examine your inter your internal world versus your external world. So I need three cards for what's going on in Aries' head. So we have the Four of Pentacles. We have Justice. And we have the Knight of Swords. All right, so the first one we have is the Four of Pentacles. And it's the cute little dormouse. Um, in Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, I think his name was... Um, um, Malumpkin, Mal Malumpkin, Malumpkin. So we have the Four of Pentacles here. And the Four of Pentacles is about financial stability, saving up, um, secrets, withholding information. So that's what's on your mind. And then we have Justice, and that was the card of Capricorn. This is the card of Libra. This is a major Arcana card, and Arcana means secrets. So these are the major life secrets. So this is Justice, and this is just saying you're exactly where you deserve to be. This is the laws of karma, um, balanced, pure motives. There could be, like, contracts and documents that you're thinking about. Um, the, the queen here is like off with your head and the king, as you can see, he's writing all of these pardons. So there are two opposing forces that balance them, them, themselves out. And then we have the knight of swords. And the knight of swords is sudden arrivals and departures. Um, he's direct, he's honest, he's fast paced. He, he likes to argue. Um, he speaks of law officials. This is the card of Aquarius. He, he likes to fight, and he fights for the rights of others. All right, now I'm going to clarify with the tarot and the ten. So why is the four of pentacles here? Why is the four of pentacles here? One card for why the four of pentacles is here. I hate when they fall on the floor. All oh, the Four of Pentacles is here because of the Queen of Pepper Mills. So the Queen of Pepper Mills, she is 
independent. She's outgoing. She's spontaneous. She's sexy. She's radiant. She's healthy. She takes charge of the situation. She's telling you that you can do this. She's open. She's sincere. She runs a business in her sleep. So if you're thinking about saving up, she's saying you can definitely do this. Um, she stands for you. She's an Aries. All right, so why is justice here? Why is justice here? All right, justice is here because of the seven of flamingos in the reverse. So the seven of flamingos in the reverse is about breaking habits. It's about challenges. All right, why is the knight of swords here? The knight of swords is so, the knight of swords. The knight of swords is here because of the king of oysters. And the king of oysters has the Midas touch. Anything he touches turns to wealth, turns to gold. He is luxury. He is security. He is the provider. He's resourceful and he's a Virgo. All right, so what's going on in Aries family and home life? Three cards for Aries family and home life, please. Three cards for Aries, family, and home life. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands in the reverse. The Moon in the upright and the Nine of Wands in the upright. And I just, I just saw something while I was doing this with your internal world, what's on your mind. There is some conflict in your internal world. Um... The Four of Pentacles is Earth energy. That is stable, solid, grounded. And then Justice and the King of Swords are air energy. That's all about change, the winds of change. So there's some major elemental conflict there within your, your mind where you want stability, but you also want change and excitement at the same time. I just wanted to bring that up. There aren't any emotions there. It's all about ambition, change, and stability. All right, so externally in your family and home life, first we have the Six of Wands in the reverse. So the Six of Wands in the reverse is egotism. There's a lack of confidence. There's a fall from grace. Before there was this parade and people were celebrating you and they were like cheering you on. They are like, yay! But in the reverse, they're not anymore. All right, and then we have the moon. And the moon is the card of cancer. This is all about manipulation. This is all about secrets. This is all about the subconscious mind. This, again, is a major arcana card. And this is um, sorting things out for yourself, paying attention to your dreams, sleeping on it. Um, not everything is as it seems. There could be some mental problems here, some lies, some deceit, um, mood swings. And then we have the Nine of Wands in the upright. So this is being constantly on guard, taking on way too much. You're the battle-weary soldier. Um, too many battles to fight. And that's the card of Sagittarius. So why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here? Right, the Six of Wands is here because of the two of um, oysters in the reverse. So this is um, being disorganized, disarray. Um, Weighing the pros and cons. Why is the moon here? The moon's here because of the four of pepper mills in the reverse. So the four of pepper mills in the reverse is a break in communication. There could have been... Um, Secrets and lies that caused 
a, um, a break in communication. You're no longer talking to somebody in your family and home life. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? One part for why the Nine of Wands is here. All right, um, the Nine of Wands is here because of the Nine of Flamingos. So we have the double nines here, and nines are all about a conclusion. Um, but the, this is painful lessons. So the Nine of Flamingos is anxiety, depression, your mind spiraling in never-ending circles. All right, so what's going on with Aries money? Three cards for Aries money, please. Three cards for Aries money. There's one. Two more cards for Aries money. Two more cards for Aries money. Two more cards for Aries money. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So when the Eight of Pentacles reverses, this is a lack of ambition and focus. This is perfectionism. We have the Eight of Wands in the upright. So we have um, double eights, and eights are all about change and movement, which corresponds with your internal world, with what you're thinking about. All right, so we have the um, Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is a powerful energy that's being released at the speed of light. Um, projects are showing success. So this is a whirlwind of activity. And then we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. And when the Page of Pentacles reverses, this is um, greed, debt, doing nothing to help yourself, being money mad, materialistic, scams, bad habits. So money's coming in but it's being halted by greed. So you so see you're a little bit gr greedy and even though it's coming in, you want more. So why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Eight of Pentacles is here because of the um, Four of Oysters in the reverse. So the Four of Oysters in the reverse is again greed, materialism, why is the Eight of Wands here? The Queen of Oysters in the reverse. So the Queen of Oysters in the reverse is money mad, self-centered, spiteful, possessive, obsessive, a slob, a wicked witch, the complete opposite of prosperity. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Because of the Ace of Flamingos. So this is breakthroughs in a situation, new plans, new ideas, a new outlook on life. All right, three cards of advice for Aries. Three cards of advice for Aries. The Four of Wands in the reverse. So the, there's a burnout here. There's a lack of progress. It could be with a Libra. Um, there's also, I, I see a break in communication here. And then we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. And when the Queen of Cups reverses, this is somebody who's very manipulative, someone who's very bitter, jealous easily influenced, somebody who's a fashion victim, who's clingy, moody, 
Uh, it could be blocked or repressed emotions or blocked or repressed um, artistic abilities. And then we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is a clear, effective communicator. He's fact-based, he's fair, he's just, he's all about strategies. He uses his head in the situation. He doesn't let feelings get in the way. He listens to both sides of an argument and makes a diplomatic decision. He's all about diplomacy. Why is the Four of Wands in the reverse here? Because of the Ace of Pepper Mills. There's potential action. There's inspiration. There's explosive potential here. There's a lot of growth, travel, energy. It's just, there's, it's full of potential. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Okay, because of the Eight of Oysters. So the Eight of Oysters is strong, solid commitment, dedicated, ongoing hard work being highly skilled, on top of your game, exactly where you need to be. Why is the King of Swords here? Because of the King of Pepper Mills. So the King of Pepper Mills is a natural born leader. He's an entrepreneur. He's powerful, dynamic, dependable. He takes control of his life. He comes up with new ideas. Respect is earned and it's not expected. So what's going on with Aries social and romantic life? Three cards for Aries social and romantic life, please. All right, so the first one that we have is the Ten of Swords. You were backstabbed and betrayed and just kind of shred to pieces. You were left out in the cold, but now you're coming back. You're slowly making a recovery. All right, and your hard work's paying off. So all of the work that you're putting into this, it is paying off. You are getting, you are getting rewards for the work that you put in. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? All right, it's because of the Two of um, Hats. This is about a relationship. This is um, a new relationship or a new phase in a relationship that just, there was an ending and now there's a new beginning in a relationship. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The five of pentacles is here because of the five of pepper mills. And the five fives are all about conflict. They're all about change. They're all about a new cycle. The five of pepper mills is conflict, stress, competition, chaos, um, fighting to be heard. See all those little cards? They're all at war with their pepper shakers. And then we have the seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Right, because of the hair font, it's something very traditional. It's all about legacy, tradition, establishing roots, establishing a family. Okay, what's going on with Aries career? Three cards for Aries career. Three cards for Aries career. Two more cards for Aries. Okay. All right, so I have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Um, so this is giving up, feeling overwhelmed. We have judgment in the reverse. So this is refusing to listen to your intuition. Um, fears holding you back, unfair treatment in your career. 
And then we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. There's a delay, a lack in, of motivation, feeling weighed down. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Right, because of the chariot reversed. So there's a loss of control. There's um, emotional outbursts. There's um, giving up, letting go, hiding your emotions, being stuck in a rut. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? All right, judgment is here because of the Knight of Peppermills in the reverse. We could be dealing with a narcissist. This is the card of narcissistic personality disorder. He um, He's reckless. He's out of control. He's a hooligan. He moves too fast. He rushes things. He could be violent and tyrannical. Why is the Ace of Wands here? All right, because of the Five of Oysters. Um, so this is financial or material loss, scandal, um, asking for help, being left out in the cold, letting mo money define who you are. Right. Any other advice for Aries? Any other advice for Aries? You need to have purity of motives, purity of spirit. Purity. All right, Aries, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, um, I am offering $20 uh, 40 minute re private readings on my website and uh, you can purchase the pay-per-view uh, career um, singles or couples for $4.99. If you want one of those, uh, shoot me an email. I was going to put them on VMO, but VMO wanted to charge me $240 just to be able to upload them to their website and I was like, screw that. So I'm going to look at the chat now and I'm going to start answering questions if there are any. So AK says, hi, beautiful. Hi, AK. Thank you for joining me. And um, Erisley Diaz says, love the background. Thank you so much. I don't see any questions. I see there's still two of you watching. So thank you for joining me, like staying with me this whole time. Um, have a wonderful day.